is a trip that sponsors young Japanese Americans and Asian Americans um, to travel to Japan. Organized by JCL, JICE, and funded by the Japan Ministry of Foreign Affairs, also known as MOFA. It was a nine day trip for some United States uh, students, uh, college age students, designed to connect young Japanese Americans who are in college or young adult age um, to the ancestral homeland, which is Japan. The program that I was a part of was administered by the Japanese American Citizens League, the JACL. And so that is a sponsored trip. Uh, people apply, and um, if you're selected, you're able to um, go to this trip in Japan and visit areas in Tokyo and have homestays in different areas of Japan. The one highlight for me was the homestay portion. I was in a group with six girls, including myself, um, and we stayed in a very traditional Japanese house in Minakami. Um, and seeing the lives that they live are, are very different. In a place with an older couple who are shiitake mushroom farmers and really showed us what it's like to live in the countryside in Japan. Spend some time with their kids, go to, I think, some temples, and really just have a good time getting to know what it was like to live a day-to-day -day life in Japan. Our homestay mom was amazing. She was so cute, so funny. Um, didn't speak very much English, so we definitely had to work together to kind of communicate with her. Hi. <laughs> Monkeys eat as much as you. Monkeys eat as much as you. Whether it be through nonverbal communication or in very little, limited English or Japanese. Anyone can come to Japan and be a tourist, go to Shibuya Crossing, but not everyone can stay with a, with a Japanese family, be introduced to, to their various farms and um, their local communities. I think as a Japanese American, it was really kind of wild to see um, people around you where some of the cultural values were still the same. I think when we, as Japanese Americans, go to Japan, I think there's this conversation of, are we Japanese, are we American, are we Japanese American, or all of the above? I really discovered how connected I was with other Japanese Americans my own age. I definitely stood out. I don't look... I don't dress or look exactly like um, people from Japan. And it really gave me a new perspective on Nikkei-ness and what it means to be a Japanese person living in the United States. Because we talked about the concept of Nikkei-jin, uh, which is just Japanese, of Japanese descent. That first time you visit like your, your people's homeland and you get the chance to just see and taste and the smells and everything that's there, um, it just changes your perspective on things. It was a really engaging and transformative experience because not only am I here in Japan eating Japanese food, meeting all these people and walking on the streets, but at the same time I'm doing it with people that I can really relate to and make me feel like I belong. Different people might look at us and say, that, oh, we're just Japanese American or we're just American and are confused by looking Japanese and not speaking Japanese. And, and so I think it was great to kind of go in learning so much about the culture and being able to exchange information as well as getting to tell so many other people about my experience and kind of opening your eyes to Japan being more than just what you see in Tokyo, what you see on TV. The Kakahashi Project actually showed me that there were so many other people who look like me or share experiences with me and it made me realize that I actually am already part of this, this very diverse community. I think just going to Japan on my own, I wouldn't have had the same experience. It's a jam sesh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>